You son of a sausage, where is it? I don't know what you're talking about! The super dog! Greg Slammit! I pay good money for my sausages! I swear on my mama! Yeah, I can't say that I have. We were in there just last week. Oh yeah, you mean that south place I got a fight in that uh, with that chump bat, huh? Ah, I see the brain of yours still works. What, I can't remember every food joint we go to. We eat a lot further. On the contrary, Frank. You just fight a lot. Well, you gotta admit that guy had it coming to him. You believe that bozo took the dressing on my Caesar salad? Wait, 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 wait. Alright. So you're telling me that you put that guy in the hospital over a packet of Caesar salad dressing. No, that kid landed in the hospital over a packet of what was mine, Furter. Why, why are you bringing this up? I took that packet. What? Why would you do that? They're free, Frank. And it's not like it was the last packet of Caesar salad dressing in a hundred miles. Jeez. Wow. You think you know a guy with this? I mean, wow. Look, Frank, I'm sorry. But screw that place anyway. They couldn't make a half decent salad if their mama's mother bunk. <laughs> Let's just hit the burger bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. Those salads tend to taste like a rubber glove when you don't have the dressing burner. You get the usual? You know me. Yeah. Alright, can I get a burger uh, without the bun? And can you cut out the uh, burger part too? I'm trying to get out my calories. Uh, yeah, sure. It's like a Gibby with extra cheese. Ah, uh, Royale with cheese. Isn't that all? Yep, we're ready. So, did the boss be in yet? Well, of course, can you believe the boss is getting married? I mean, isn't that just amazing? I'm so proud of him. He really is our little tiger. But no, this one's personal. Someone stole it. No! Yes. No! Uh, yes. Not the Grand Sausage, why, that hasn't been stolen since the summer of 46. Oh, no, you don't. Look, the boss wants to find the perp who committed this horrendous act. Why, of course. Can't just let any dirty hands touch the Grand Sausage. Saving it from the... Nah, saving it for the first time was the biggest staple in our careers. We can't just let that fizzle into nothing. Yeah, let's go. Well, wait, you didn't, you didn't, um, finish your... Burger. Why, if it isn't my favorite hot dog connoisseur, Frank. How you been, pal? What happens to be bringing you here, Frankie? Don't Frankie me, Mayo. You know exactly why I'm here. Can't say that I do, Frankie. Why, you son of a- <sighs> You have a lot of nerve coming back here, Frank. I wouldn't have beat up Billy if he hadn't stolen that A-pack of deluxe dogs. How could he have known better? Billy's smart enough to know right from wrong, but he chose to take those hot dogs. That's why I had to give him a round of nacho sandwiches. He's eight years old, Frank. You what? No, no remorse. Of course it didn't take that stupid hot dog. Grow up! I'm so sorry. You have no idea how much trouble you've caused this family to my own son. Get out of this house! You are not welcomed here! Well, if Mayo didn't steal the grand sausage, then it has to be pretty relish. So, uh, you have any luck with that Mayo suspect? No. Mayo still holds a grudge against me for teaching that. So I thought a hot dog thief a lesson. Well, how can Mayo be mad? So what if we beat Billy to a pulp? You're only bringing justice to a corrupt world. <sighs> he was eight further. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense then. I mean, I guess I get why Mayo might be mad. Because you beat up that eight-year-old. I get it, Furter. All right, just don't beat yourself up too much about it. I mean, that kid took most of the beating anyways. Furter! Look, 
I'm just here because the boss wants us on a stakeout. He thinks Richie Relishstein is responsible for heisting the super dog. Oh, I knew it was Richie. Where might we be meeting for this operation? The old stakeout hill. Isn't that a little obvious for a stakeout, further? Of course not. Richie would never expect the obvious. Oh, you're so right, Ferda. You're a genius. Come on, let's go. Richie could be there now. <laughs> Ferda, we've been out here for nine hours. I mean, how much longer can we stake out like this? Stake. Oh, oh, well, do you think you could ever give this life up? <sighs> what? I mean, what if the boss transferred you to the Pretzel Crimes Department? D? I'm not cut out for that. Uh, I'm the best, the best hot dog detective we have. I mean, I put everything on the line for this life. You really are the best we have. But you're right. I can't just save helpless glizzies the rest of my life. The agency wouldn't be the same without you, Frank. You're the mustard that holds the... No, you're the... You're the bun that holds all of my life's in shambles. I mean, I know we're pals, but... This, this isn't all I do. I, I got a life. I don't just solve hot dog related crimes, you know? I got a wife and, and two amazing little freaks running around at home. But Marie must be happy. I mean, think of all the dough that you're bringing in. You know I didn't take this job for the paper further. I know. It's about the genuine love of the hot dog. Exactly. But Marie must be happy, right? I work 70 hours a week. What do you think? Yeah. I, I mean, I barely get to see my kids. I, I'm missing out on the lives because there he is, hot dog. Oh, there he is. Ah! Wait, I don't even know you. Wait, I know that voice. It couldn't be Richie Relishstein. Get away so easily this time, Richie! You son of a sausage, where is it? I don't know what you're talking about! The super dog! Greg Sammet! I pay good money for my sausages! I swear on my mama! Yeah, really? Really? Well, you know what? It's your lucky day. Get up, kid, you know? Alright, get up! Get up! Get up! You know what? We'll let you off the hook. Really? <laughs> yeah, you've been such a good friend to us and. <laughs> you know, you know it, it, I know you never steal any more hot dogs, right? No, of course no, not. No, of course not. Oh. Breaking news. Local dangerous lunatics self-described as hot dog detectives have been identified as Franklin H. Bartholomew and Jebediah D. Stinkmeter. While committing these horrendous crimes, such as a count of disorderly conduct, three counts of battery sold, a count each of impersonating a law enforcement official, and a felony charge for filling a cop's car with exhaust pipes with Vienna sausages? have gone by the names of Frank and Furter and have now been confirmed arrested. It is still not entirely clear what these two maniacs' intentions were or how they managed to run a fake detective agency for five years, but this is what these two suspects had to say for themselves. We did it in the name of justice! A fight that's been oppressed by these hot dog manufacturers! You, you see, we were on our big break. We were about to catch the perp, but, but then they got in the way. I bet you're working for them, aren't you? We did it in the name of justice! Oh, it's breakfast! Breakfast for president! Let's fight! For the hot dog freedom! Breakfast for president! Don't fill we my will break gun. free! Don't you can lock us son. away, but we Don't will break free! Take breakfast for president! And with that, good night, New York! Ah, shut up! Do they actually think that they're in New York? Cheryl, you're back on. Oh, and with that, folks, this has been Portland, Oregon's very own Channel 11 News, your top trusted local news source. I'm Cheryl Denvers.